doing that before. Oh, there was no one around. It was the middle of the day. It was not a work out. It was not popular. It was not popular. The way we're trying to approach public art tonight is not just sculpture and large monuments, but poetry, music, dance, uh, freeform skateboarding, anything that really, really engages people in the public realm. If we are going to fire up a sense of place in Connecticut to the degree that we want to, then we need to realize that arts and civilization, that culture and civilization, are inextricably linked, but they're not the same thing. Civilization are the great buildings, they're the roads, they're the access to people, they're where the throng come together. But as Hillman reminds us, culture comes and goes. Culture is what civilization makes possible. And without, without the art, civilization gives you a body without a soul. It's a great lesson from Hillman, and it's one we all need to remember. Um, I think that the most effective way is to really engage the people that live there, that are from there. Um, there's a, a, you know, a ton of artists that, that live and visit in that area right across the way from New York. Um, but I think to, to be able to engage them in such a way where um, the art is relevant and meaningful to them in their community. I think we need to redouble our effort on art education because if we don't teach our children, then everything we do now is going to come for naught. And especially uh, teaching them plein air art, that they would go outside and depict places in their neighborhoods, in their cities, in the state of Connecticut, uh, much as the Connecticut Impressionists did in the early 20th century. The, uh, the ability to empower everyone to be artists. Artists are people who make art. It, it can be certainly a vocation, and it could be a living, but it, we, if we allow different forms of expression, whether it's kids doing drawings about their local town and then putting it on the refrigerator, whether it's teens uh, doing video scavenger hunts on their smartphone, looking for bits of architecture, and then collecting that, and then telling stories about the town that way. And I guarantee you, if we all tell our stories to each other, we'll all come out energized. It is what happens when storytelling people share what they know and their enthusiasm is a fire.